Hey, what is going on guys? Andrew in the money options back at it again with another video. Today is April 10th, 2024. It is a Wednesday guys. So happy Wednesday. As you guys can see already, we are down $223 on the day, which is about 4.12% up a little bit in the overnight trading up about $36 guys. I was in complete shock when I opened up my Robinhood portfolio this morning. It was around like noonish is when I checked the account. And guys, take a look at Realty Income. This thing absolutely dumped hard. This thing was down over 4% on the day. Uh, my position did end up going in the red, guys. I was up over $200 on this position, and then it completely took a slam today. Uh, I still am receiving a $25.70 dividend this 15th. And uh, I was just in complete shock, guys, seeing what happened with Realty Income. I didn't expect it at all. And... You know, I know this is a long-term investing channel, guys, where we talk about options trading as well as earnings plays, cryptocurrency, and etc. And I hate to say it, but I wish I kind of sold the shares and rebought back at around 5202, which was my average cost again, guys. If I ended up doing that, and again, guys, this is again when we tell you guys about the market, it's unknown. We don't know what's going to happen in the market today, tomorrow. Guys, tomorrow realty income could be at $55 or it could be at 40 or it could be at $50 flat guys there's no telling what's going to happen I was in complete shock this morning when I saw it but hey I'm in it for the long term for these shares so I don't really care what happens with the fluctuation it was just crazy how it just completely got slammed um but it is kind of rebounding a little bit I still am up $44 on the position in total so you know not a bad you know total return uh, someone in my comments did ask me uh, what's a good price to buy realty income at and I would personally say around $50 a share is a great price in my opinion guys not financial advice but as you guys can see this is down 15% on the past year and the past five years guys it is down 25% and max it is still up 400% guys so as you guys can see this company does go up over a long period of time it is kind of slacking right now and that's a great time to invest in this company they do pay a monthly dividend guys of 25 cents a share so you might as well take advantage of that guys pick you up pick you up some shares it's very good and very safe investment especially for the long term and you will not regret it guys come even two three five ten years from now this is a great company and uh, they're at a great price to buy right now guys that's my personal opinion um but kind of shocked how it just completely got slammed today. The whole market dumped today, guys, and then it rebounded. I'm sorry. Spy dumped, guys. Take, guys, drop down in the comments below, guys, if you took my play. I told you guys spy puts below 515 and spy calls above 520. Now, guys, we did go below 515. We did get slammed in the pre-market. I'm not sure what happened today on news. I wasn't really paying attention because I was at work. But drop down in the comments below, guys, if you know what news came out to make the SPY just absolutely dump today. It did pretty much dump in the overnight, in the pre-market. Uh, yeah, it dumped in the pre-market, tested 515s, guys, and it got slammed again. So, guys, I told you in the watch list yesterday, puts below 515, calls above 520. Drop down in the comments below, guys, if you did get in that uh, trigger alert, that play, because... It did retest 515 and then it came right back down guys to 512 that was probably a, that was a over a two and a half dollar drop to the downside and uh make sure guys if you do get in one of these plays especially a day trade get in get out guys don't bag hold because as you guys can see pretty much the rest of the day we chopped around 513 to 514 and a lot of people that played calls or puts potentially got stopped out the contracts were being worth were getting worthless every minute especially the ones that are expiring tomorrow or even the ones expiring in two days guys that plays a big factor in contracts and especially in options trading guys you have to understand the instrument you're trading and if you're unsure of what you're trading don't trade it guys do your research understand what options trading is before you trade and that's why i'm here guys with this channel for all the new investors as well as options traders who want to learn about trading as well as investing for long term so I'm really curious to see who got in those play, who got in that play. Definitely drop down in the comments below. Um, yeah, guys, but you know what's crazy? 
Nvidia dumped today. Like the whole market dumped. Nvidia dumped and it just completely picked back up today. This thing was up over a little bit less than 2% on the day, up 1.93%, which is about $16.45. This thing was an absolute tear. Guys, if you bought calls here at the bottom when the market opened, this thing absolutely ripped right into the green and more. And it's just crazy how much it like ran up. These contracts guys ran for two, 300%, these Nvidia calls. Now I didn't give out a play for Nvidia calls because this is a risky company, especially to invest in now. It's very highly manipulated. And uh, the bulls obviously are in control, which is the institutions. So uh, you definitely want to play it safe when it comes to uh, Nvidia, especially with these high uh, contracts that are very, very expensive. And then guys, another one that basically ended the day up a little bit over a half a percent was meta platforms guys it was up about three dollars today and uh you know this one again it dumped it was down one and a half percent and then it completely rebounded guys it was down ten dollars just to make all of those gains back and some it's kind of slipping right now in the after hours but it's nothing major uh meta platforms did end the day green now amazon guys did end the day it ended the day green as well, but it's down in the overnight trading. Up 22 cents on the day, down 50 cents, 56 cents overnight. Now, the Amazon call I did give you guys did end up going back in the green. So I gave you guys this contract for or on March 23rd, 2024, and it is currently April 10th. So if you guys bought that contract when I told you that on the day from when I told you guys till right now, you would technically still be up 32%, guys. The contract is well in the money. It's $5 in the money, guys. So this thing can definitely break all-time highs in the next couple of weeks, if not a month, and maybe even longer. No guarantees, guys. Again, this is not financial advice. I do have to state that in my videos that this is not financial advice because this is for safety purposes and safety reasons. But the contract was up 1.38% today which is about $17. Drop down in the comments below, guys, if you did get in that play. Now, the Tesla call I gave you guys, right? It is still up technically 23%, but it's down 66% on the day, guys. Now, this is what I wanted to say. Tesla, a very manipulated stock. This thing goes up, down, up, down, up, down. You don't know when it's going to continue on rising. You don't know when it's going to continue on dumping. Just when you think it's going to dump, it pumps. And just when you think it's going to pump, it dumps. <laughs> or dump it pumps i'm sorry guys it's basically vice versa so tesla is a very tricky company to trade and uh, especially in a market right now so it's a great company to invest in long term if another the same person commented on my video what's a good price for tesla if you wanted to invest in that company and my personal suggestion would be around 160 ish would be around 160 guys 160 a per share or around there is a great price for tesla in my opinion guys not financial advice but definitely something to keep in mind guys again this is your hard-earned money guys that you're investing and you want to make sure you're putting it into three types of companies guys the first one being blue chip companies guys such as apple microsoft google amazon those are blue chip stocks guys and those are must-haves now amazon is not a good buy right now it's at almost approaching all-time highs you never want to buy a stock that's at all-time highs. Now, Apple, which is a very good blue chip company, the second largest company in the world, this is not at all-time highs. It's actually coming down. So Apple, in my opinion, is a great company to buy and invest in currently. And this company usually gets back up when it's oversold on the daily RSI, which is above below 30 RSI. This thing usually tends to go back up. And uh, you definitely want to keep your eyes on Apple, guys. Uh, they're a good company to invest in and then also guys so that's the first thing you want to invest in blue chip stocks the second thing guys is dividend stocks such as realty income pfizer walmart home depot w waste management guys ticker symbol wm is a great company to invest in this is again a company that they do they basically go around the world and they take out all the trash and that is a must need they pay out dividends quarterly and they're a great company and uh i don't see them going out of business but buying them now they're around all-time highs so 
I wouldn't invest in that company right now. I'd wait for a big dip. But oh, keep your guys, uh, keep your eyes on waste management for long term, guys. Drop down in the comments below, guys, if you own the stock waste management, which is ticker, ticker symbol WM. Now, back to uh, and then I'm sorry. The last thing is growth stocks such as Tesla, and that's the main one. Tesla is a growth stock, guys. This company is a very phenomenal company and they have a very good future coming up ahead of them now they're oversold and that's a great time to invest in it and uh 160 ish would be a pretty good price to invest in this company but this uh, just back to what i was saying guys about this contract it's down 66 percent today right i gave you guys the contract april 5th this thing ran for two days in a row and again guys you have to take profits guys taking profits is probably the most safest thing to do especially in a market right now it's very tricky it's very volatile you don't know what's going to happen today tomorrow you don't want to swing these contracts guys unless you have very high confidence and if the contracts aren't that expensive you don't want to swing a contract guys that you have that's at five dollars a contract or six dollars a contract because depending on how it fluctuates in the pre-market and opens up it can get either slammed or it can rise very high when the market opens so definitely want to keep your eyes on that and make sure you guys when you see green take green because to the people that didn't sell these contracts it did end up coming right back down but our play initially was a success you just have to make sure you guys pull the trigger when you screenshot your profile to look at those to screenshot those profits that's guys that is when you take profits and sell your contracts personal opinion and if you want to leave runners if you have one or two contracts sell one let the other one ride and set a stop loss for that last one usually those runners can run for a good amount of gains but just something i wanted to talk about um google guys got slammed couldn't make its way back up at the green it was up one dollar in the pre-market this one end of the day down 50 cents it's down in overnight trading 0.34 percent microsoft guys did end the day down three dollars and 15 cents down 0.75 percent of the day it is slipping in overnight trading down point down 53 cents on the day as well guys uh qqq looks very similar to spy this thing was down 0.9 percent which is down four dollars on the day down a little bit in overnight trading apple guys got slammed today down 1.13 percent down a dollar and 92 cents this thing was looking really well and then once 8 30 hit some specific news came out guys drop down in the comments below if you know what news came out i don't think it was cpi Maybe it might have been CPI. Was it? If it was, guys, drop down in the comments below what the CPI was, what the percentage was uh, year over year. I'm really curious to see what, what, what it was. Again, I was at work, so I couldn't really pay attention to the news and stuff because I had to focus on my life. Again, guys, playing long term is probably the safest bet to do. You always want to make sure you're holding companies for long term. And if you want to dazzle in options, just remember you can lose money. So whatever you do, be very careful. If you're up $10, $20, and you're new to investing or options trading, I'm sorry, take profits, guys. Learn from it, you know what I'm saying? And take notes, and it will really help you in the end. And of course, guys, SPY, like I said, mentioned before, this is down 1%, down $5.16. We're looking, guys, tomorrow, SPY puts below five, thir I'm sorry. Let me actually look at what this drop was. Spy puts guys below 510. Spy puts below 510 and breaks and holds below 510. Spy calls guys above 515 and breaks above 515 with with uh, strength. Keep that in mind. Sorry about that helicopter. I am walking outside guys making a late video, so I do apologize about that noise. AMD did end the day down two dollars. I'm sorry, 2.17 percent, which is three dollars and seventy cents. Slipping in overnight trading down a. Uh, 58 cents and tesla guys like we saw, talked about before down five dollars and 13 cents on the day down about a dollar in the after hours overnight trading all right guys, let's take a look at the daily movers right rocket company ticker symbol rkt is down 12 percent on the day a dollar and 81 cents uh rvmd not sure what this company is but it looks like they were up 10 percent of the day um HXL was down 12% of the day as well. This company, ALPN, I don't know what happened here, guys, but this thing ran 20% today and 38% after hours for a total 
gain of over 64% today, guys. And that's what I'm going to look at. Uh, upcoming earnings, guys. So we do have the banks reporting earnings on Friday, guys. JP Morgan Chase is reporting earnings this Friday. I'm going to put that in the title of today's video. Now, they did, if I'm not mistaken, the Federal, Federal Reserve did cut interest rates or raise interest rates, I'm sorry. And that's why the market dumped. But you definitely want to keep your eyes on these bank stocks, guys. This will determine how the upcoming earnings for these top companies, top tech stocks are going to. It's going to play a little bit of a role, but mainly for the whole society. This plays a bigger role for the overall market uh, as far as financials. But JP Morgan Chase is reporting earnings. They were down 1.09% on the day. Uh, Bank of America is reporting earnings, guys. Next week, Wells Fargo is reporting earnings. This Friday, uh, Goldman Sachs is reporting earnings. Is it this Friday? No, next week. And uh, United Health is reporting earnings as well as Johnson & Johnson. And if I'm not mistaken, those are next week as well. But this week, guys, you want to keep your eyes on um, JP Morgan Chase as well as Wells Fargo's dies guys ticker symbol ticker symbol WFC all the bank stocks were down guys today so definitely something to keep a keep an eye on um so guys yeah we are down $223 in the day guys and I could honestly care less this is a long-term hold we're holding on to these companies this company for over five ten years so with reinvesting dividends I've already received with this upcoming dividend it's going to be $50 dividend in total from realty income so I could honestly care less what the fluctuation is today. It's just something to, uh, you know, look at. I was kind of shocked, though, that it dumped. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. It's part of the game. This is when people start to sell and they panic sell. And, guys, we're strong. We're going to hold on to these shares like there's no tomorrow, guys. This is for our future. So definitely stay strong, guys. If you're down on your portfolio today, guys, long term is the best thing to do. So don't worry about it. I'm just telling you that right now. The earnings plays, like I told you before, guys. CarMax is reporting earnings Thursday, which is tomorrow. And the pre-market, sorry about the background noise. There are cars kind of riding. JP Morgan Chase, guys, which is tomorrow. I'm sorry, Friday before open. Wells Fargo is before open. Citibank before open. BlackRock before open. State Street Capital before open. So Friday is basically going to be a movie. <laughs> Drop down in the comments below, guys, how you think the bank earnings are going to report. Uh, then, back to the Robinhood portfolio, guys. Let's take a look at cryptocurrency. So, Bitcoin is back above 70000 It's up 2% of the day, which is uh, about $1,500 up on the day. And uh, they are up about 6.5% on the week, up $4,300. Ethereum, guys, is up 0.67% on the day. Up about $23 as well, up 6.39% on the week. Dogecoin, guys, is up 5 per, a little bit, over, let's just say 5% on the day, which is almost a cent, very close to it. Um, after that, guys, we do have Shiba Inu did end the day up 2%, and uh, not bad, not bad of a day overall. And then Bitcoin Cash is down about a little bit over half a percent of the day, down $3.75. Now, I want to give you guys appreciation. Thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support on the channel. We are at 581 subscribers. I love you guys. I love you all. You guys are truly amazing. Very happy, very thankful, and grateful for all of your guys' support. Hopefully, guys, we can continue on growing. Again, at 1,000 subscribers, guys, we will, I will be making a free public Discord where everybody can join with a link. And uh, we're going to be talking about everything options, long-term investing, stocks to buy now and hold forever earnings plays as well as cryptocurrency and etc guys so definitely subscribe to the channel guys once we reach a thousand we're making a free public discord drop down in the comments below guys if you have any questions for me i did put a poll on my community tab if you own tesla stock i'm really curious to see how many of the how many of my supporters and subscribers own tesla stock uh so make sure you guys take a vote on that poll and uh i hope you guys end of the day green make sure you guys get a great night a good night's rest and uh tomorrow's gonna be a Tomorrow's going to be a pretty good day, guys, and Friday will be a movie. So definitely keep your, keep your eyes out for the end of the week, guys. It's going to determine basically how next week is going to be. So other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I love you all, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.
and I'll catch you guys in the next video.